Hello, this video is about calling your own data API using Bubble. We'll go through the settings, what to do with the API connector, and what to do with the repeating group. Because here on the left, we use the standard Bubble search request, which is just do a search for tree tips, items under 100. But on the left, we're actually calling our own API. So actually, we use get data from an external API and are calling the data we want to show in this repeating. So how did I do that? First of all, I have to enable all the settings required. So we go over to settings, we go to API, we have to check mark enable workflow API, and we have to also check mark enable data API. And for the data API, what we're showing here is tree tips. So we have to check mark this to actually enable it for this data type. And then we have to just keep in mind that this means that every app can with access to this uh, root URL could access the tree tip. So therefore it's important to consider the privacy rules. So we can go over to data and privacy and then click tree tip. And we can add a rule such as only when current user is logged in, we can view the field, find in searches and view attached files. In all the other cases we could click it away so no one can find the search or view attached files if they're not logged in into your app. As an example, we could of course also allow it for other types of users or find this in searches or only view some fields so they cannot see all fields. What we have to do though for it to work during initialization, we do have to check mark these two fields. And then we go over to plugins and we click add plugins to add the API connector plugin. And then we scroll down and click add another call, which we did here. We call it get tree tip because we're going to use the API to get the tree tips from our backend API. And here we do use as data because we don't want to do any actions. We just want to request the data. It's data type JSON. And we do a get request and then we paste this URL. How do we know it's this URL? If you go to the bubble manual and search for data API, you will find the documentation required. So it says the general endpoint to get data from Bubble follows this pattern. And it shows the API 1.1 opt type name. So we need the object name at the end. So for example, if we have a rental unit, then it has to be made rental unit because we're removing the spaces and using lowercase letters. So we have to follow the same for our tree tips. So they're called tree underscore tip. So there are already no spaces, but we now just have to get rid of the capital T. And therefore we just did this and did tree underscore tip. And then we have no headers, we have no parameter, which is check mark attempt to make the call from the browser and click initialize. And then it will tell us it doesn't work, which is always great news. And let's have another look if we changed anything here. Nope. We go here and we have to click view all fields, otherwise it won't work. So this shows that privacy rules can always be an unknown restriction. Always watch out for them. So we click initialize and now it will show us all the fields from the tree tip. And now why are we actually doing this? We want our repeating group to load faster. That's actually the main reason. And we can do that by telling it to ignore all fields that we don't need. So for example, imagine you have a data type as this one here. You know, I made this four years ago, so it just has so many columns and we don't want to load all the columns. So we can click ignore a field next to every field and we can just show the text. And I believe I showed the title and maybe the image or something. But then we can click save at the bottom after clicking ignore all fields. And then we can go to the repeating group. We can then select get tree tip response result as the type of content. So we added a new type of content to this bubble app by using the API connector. And then here again, we do get tree tip. So we did this by doing get data from an external API and then get tree tip. And then here response and then it becomes blue. And what we want to check is how fast does this list load? We do items until 100. And we have a full list on this side and a full list on this side. So we just want to see the loading speed.
And we see the right side is significantly faster if we load a list of 100 different things, which is great. So summing it up again, wow, is the left side is slow. Uh, summing it up again, what we did here is we went to the API settings, enabled them, copied this URL, went to the API connector plugin, pasted this URL, added our data type, initialized the call, ignored the fields we didn't need, and then set the repeating group to get data from an external API. Hope you can make use of this to improve your repeating group loading speed. Cheers.